day 13. Surviving. He slept in today. The pounding has completely stopped. Hmm? You really need to go to the bathroom. You decide to open your eyes. I see something spooky. Oh, I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> Perfect. You must have slept walked into the bathroom last night. The glow of the candle is oddly comforting. Huh. Oh. The candle blew out. And the door is locked. You find a flashlight in the corner of the bathroom and turn it on. Convenient. Tutorial. You are in the dark, but you are not alone. Click on the objects around the bathroom to get more information or find hidden clues. If you're stuck, just wait a little bit to see the glint of objects in the <laughs> to inspect around the room. Just move around your cursor to search the room. Cabbage. Cabbage. Oh. Hello. Are you locked in the bathroom again? You tell her about the candle being blown out. <laughs> Maybe you just need to try wiggling it a little bit. The candle? You unlock the bathroom door. Sometimes it's the simplest method is the best one. Now, if you'll excuse me, need to conduct the next secret chompette meeting. <laughs> Later! Was there anything else in this room? You quickly make your escape. Okay. <laughs> well, getting locked in the bathroom is enough excitement for one day. Um, you get under the covers and quickly fall asleep. <laughs> oh my god, this is like my regular days off where I just sleep way too much. <laughs> I was just like, I had to go to the bathroom and then I got locked in the bathroom and I'm like, well, that was enough excitement. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Just your imagination again. Karen can't still be alive, right? Somebody's at the door. You grip the doorknob tightly, getting ready for what's next. And I'm gonna rip my headphone out of my ear. All right. Hello. Hmm. Hmm, that can't be the real Gregor. You determine the haunt has officially begun. Some of the spirits, some spirits move on immediately. Others linger. And some, some stop at nothing to give you a heart attack or get you to fall down a flight of stairs or cause you to wander into an early demise. No way of knowing which one the group will choose. Hmm. The rain has stopped outside. You decide to look out the window. <laughs> the floodwaters are completely gone. Karen would appreciate the good news, but not after locking her in the basement. No good reason to leave the cabin. Plenty of food here now. <laughs> Plenty of people to eat, is what I mean. You've been so busy, you've forgotten to eat. You head to the kitchen for a snack. Karen's hiding spot was too obvious. You take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your humanity. Not fresh enough. Oh well. You decide to crawl back into bed and get a little extra sleep. <laughs> you lost your humanity. It's so funny. That's too many days. What? 3,000? What? You have a strange dream. The clouds have parted and the rain has gone away. You walk or you wake in a cold sweat. Mm. Is this another trick or Good morning. She's still sticking around. You head to the kitchen and get breakfast. I'm just like living with the ghost. I'm just like that's just a ghost. <laughs> Uh, it's like American Horror Story Season 1. Your food is gone. Hmm. That noise is coming from the living room. Anatoly? Nobody's here. Some deep scratches are dug into the wood by the couch. Something is approaching. Huh? What's making that noise? It sounded like it was coming from the basement door. 
You go over to investigate. A cold wind is blowing through the hole in the door. You get goosebumps all over your arms. Hmm? Is this, uh... <laughs> you awake in a cold sweat. Oh, that whole thing was a dream. That was pretty good. I They fooled me. I was like, oh my god, I've been living with the ghost forever. <laughs> this is good. It's raining again. They're taunting you with dreams of a sunny day. You get out of bed and head to the living room. You can still smell Gregor here. Should you have intervened with Karen? Yeah, I thought I would, but I didn't, because I'm a jerk. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have changed the outcome. It also might have led to your death. Hmm. The couch is still comfortable, even after Gregor imprinted on it. You decide to take a nap, which quickly turns into a sleep. I'm just floating in around by myself in this cabin after killing everyone. You must have woken up early today. The cabin living room is pitch black. You pick up a flashlight nearby to explore the darkness. Spooks. Anatoly. Notes. Am I looking for vegetables? Uh. Oh. Hmm? You notice a note sticking out from one of the books. I know you've been oh okay. <clears throat> I know you've been ignoring my other letters, so I am begging you, please bring back my daughter safely or I will need to get the others involved. I have left payments outside the door and I will pay any price. Please let her go. We don't have to involve anyone else. You take the mother note with you. You decide to lay back down on the couch to get the rest of your sleep. I wonder what that other thing was. <laughs> Uh, is this like a murder cabin full of ghosts that made us go insane and murder everyone, or were we already insane? You slept, walked again. Sleep, walked? You can hear Potato mumbling in the drawer. Oh, it's you again. Tell me. In that first week with the red-haired woman and the others, where did you sleep? You think for a minute, but come up with nothing. It's worse than I imagined. If I can be honest, it was truly horrific to witness. Still nothing? You would routinely collapse in the middle of the hallway, sleepwalking into walls, or worse, going down into the basement. I can't believe you haven't even broken your neck on those stairs yet. You seem to survive almost anything. Do I have that right? Must be that addiction to meat. <laughs> or something else? Would you... Share that secret with me. Yes! You tell Potato the secret. Wow, I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to tell me. I'm living longer than expected already, but this is good informa information to take with me. Thank you. Was that the right thing to tell Potato? <laughs> it's a delight to watch you fall apart. What does that red-haired woman have in store for you? You haven't thought about Karen in a while. How many days has she been down there? You do realize she's probably feast she's probably been feasting on the three. On the three. Okay. She'll be much stronger than the last time you saw her. <laughs> Go downstairs. Put an end to this. Not for the chompettes. Just just for me. You head for the basement door. Yes, my potato overlord. I shall do as you please. You quickly do the math in your head and determine Karen will be dead in the basement. It's been enough days, right? You open the door and prepare for the worst. It's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Something is approaching. Hello. Hmm. 
Can you hear me? I've been down here the entire time. It's so good to see you again. There's plenty of bread down here. Why aren't you saying anything? I'll never forgive you for what you did. You put Anatoly through hell. You desecrated my corpse. You gave them that disgusting hunger. All of that is water under the bridge now. Anatoly's down here. Come have some bread with us. They always try things like this. Their anger, concentrated near their grave, leads to tricks and traps. You're not falling for this one. Why aren't you listening to me? There's bread down here, loaves of it. Fine. I won't stop you from finding the others down here. One piece of advice? Beware of Karen. She is ill beyond repair. Gregor will try to talk you out of reaching the room. Anatoly will try to talk you into leaving the cabin. And Karen will rip the flesh from your bones. We'll talk again. You feel Mariah leaving the staircase. You go deeper into the abyss. <laughs> this character is so cool with ghosts and like dealing with ghosts. He's like, she just tried to trick me. Like, pfft, whatever. I don't even care. They're always trying to do this. Like, <laughs> it's such a funny role to play. Like, because I definitely kill all these people, right? I think that's what it's alluding to. The walls down here, they're dirt and soot. Hmm? Something is approaching. I'm glad I found you. The rain outside is stopped. Did you hear that knocking? Another trap. Everyone's upstairs and wants to leave. Mariah's worried sick about you. You tell Gregor about speaking with Mariah. Uh, guess I can't lie to you, huh? You just stood there while Karen took my limbs, doing nothing. Are you frightened by her? Hmm. If you won't come upstairs with me, please turn on the light when you reach the room. I want to see the look on your face when that light bulb turns on. Can you do that for me? You nod. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for letting me lick the bowls clean. And that was enough to keep him at bay. We'll meet again soon. Beware, Karen. You feel Gregor leaving the staircase. You descend deeper into the abyss. Boo -boo -boo. I'm just like jamming my way down the basement. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Hmm? Something is approaching. Is this my boy Anatoly? Oh, thought you'd still be fending off that glutton Gregor right now. You tell Anatoly about meeting with Gregor. Oh, I was going to try to see if you wanted to pick onions with me. You shake your head. Guess there's no fooling you, huh? You survived this long and now you'll need to fend off Karen. I can't tell if I'd rather have you or, or her sticking around down here. You ask Anatoly where Karen is. Oh, she's just below us, waiting to devour you. Karen's been practicing on her butchering again. Maybe she'll start with your arms? <laughs> down here, the whispers have told me about you. I can't even believe some of the things you've done. Worse than any war crime. So many whispers about those sorts of things. 
So many whispers down here. It ends at the bottom. Karen might be alive down here, but you won't be. See you again soon. Why were you nice to me? Did you want to pray on the week? Or was I just another meal ticket? The whispers told me the truth. Hopefully someone ends this darkness soon. You feel Anatoly leaving the staircase. You grit your teeth and keep going. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. You feel the wall blindly around to locate the light switch. Hello! <laughs> Hello! You've come so far! Proud of you! As the leader of the Chompettes, I wanted to let you know we have your back. No matter what happens down here, just call out to us and we'll be there. Why? Honest. We wouldn't let you die. We wouldn't let you die down here. When you yeast expect it, we'll roll with you. <laughs> you can't sneak up on me. But sneaking up on you? Extremely easy. Are you deaf? Raspberry! That was pretty cruel, even for me. Your ears have so much dirt in them, they could probably grow potatoes. <laughs> we'll have to work on those jokes, potato. Sure. Weren't you hiding in the basement room? Circumst uh, circumstances have changed. I wouldn't miss a killing for the world. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> Just remember, Bobby down Bobby. here, you can call on us. We'll help you out in a blind in a bind. And if you get lost down here later, please avoid the room where it happened. I can't speak for the others, but I'd like to forget what happened there. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever forget that, Potato. But thank you for, con for coming along with us. I wouldn't call it a change of heart because you never really had one, Potato. You should have brought it down here, but I'm glad you're here to help. Wish I had a joke here, but what you did was no joking matter. That's enough! <laughs> Guys are so weird. Chomp it! Let's help out! Yay! The Chompets get in position behind you, ready for what's next. <laughs> you feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. Took you long enough. Whoa, you look normal. Let's end this. I'm sorry, is this a combat sequence? Karen readies the knife. You're going to taste better than Gregor. Ouch. Should have had kept the door locked. Can I like click you? Attack. You attack Karen with a lunge. You barely land a soft punch. Oh shit. Karen lunges at you. You've started to bleed. Karen laughs at you. Won't be bury burying you. Can I like save right now? Hold on. I should have saved earlier, but whatever. What if I use a chompette? I don't know. Uh, hey, as the leader, the chompettes can't leave you hanging. All of us are ready to help you out here. I see you've ignored my warning to watch out for that knife. <laughs> Please survive this fight. We want to play hide and seek again. Chompettes, help out! Cabbage has filed, filled you with hope. You gained 5 HP. Oh, that's what you guys do. <laughs> this was an ideal time to talk to the Chompettes. Karen looks confused though. Looks like Karen is plotting her next attack. What if I attack? You attack Karen with a lunge. You barely land a soft punch. Should have kept the door locked. What if I dodge? I don't know. She slashes with her knife. You dodge. Oh, noise. Feeling the air hit you. You shouldn't be this fast. 
Karen looks you dead in the eyes. Karen licks her lips. Will you fit in the cauldron? Um, uh, attack. You try throwing a punch. Karen easily dodges it. It'd be best to watch out for that knife. I know, I'm watching out for the knife. Dodge. Karen goes completely silent. Should have kept the door locked. Oh my god, okay. Gotcha. You barely land the soft punch. Then she gets me with the knife. You've started to bleed. Karen's looking winded. Oh, she is though. You swipe at Karen's jugular. She's too fast. Dodge. Just rest. Attack. I kick Karen. You connect with Karen's shin. Karen rushes towards you. Ooh, crazy face. Karen's seething. Chompettes! Glad to see you still have it after all these years. Still quick. You ask Cabbage if this is... If this reminds her of Potato in the room. Of course! He wasn't as dangerous as the red-haired woman, though. <laughs> Just an absolute loser. Inside voices, Cabbage. <laughs> Might not have to keep this terrain going on much longer, Potato. I'm not gonna lie, the background and reading is, like, super difficult. Seeing the Chompettes argue like humans again makes you feel a little better. You gain 5 HP. Karen furrows her brow. D dodge Just rest. Dodge. Karen attacks. There we go. She missed. Filling a bowl with your brains after this. Karen is about to take your life. Dodge. You stumble into one of the walls awkwardly. Killing you will be easy. What? By dodge. Attack. You punch Karen in the gut. Knock the wind out of her. Attack again. You punch Karen in the gut. Okay. She slashes at me. Ooh, dead. You taste... copper? I'm going to eat those ears first. Karen tackles you to the ground, plunging the knife into you repeatedly. She devours your body on the floor of the basement. Your corpse lasts a week. Womp womp. Probably not the actual ending. Not the good ending, anyway. Took you long enough. Oh my god, I start from the beginning! Perfect, okay. It's good to know. We're gonna get through this. Let's end this. Should have never left Ukraine. Dodge. Okay. She looks at me dead in the eyes. Licks her lips. Mm hmm Dodge. Shit. Attack! Should have never left. Okay, attack. I mean, I'm doing pretty good compared to her right now. But here you go. Stab number one. Chompettes, help. I don't really care who dies down here. You're both pretty awful. Good luck. Potato's words cut pretty deep. It does make you feel a little better, though. <laughs> okay. That was an ideal time to talk. She looks confused. Best to watch out for that knife I attack. <laughs> She's looking winded, and I attack. Okay. Connect with her shin. She rushes towards me. Crazy face. She's seething. Chompettes. Hey, it's me, Onion. Just finish this in one swift motion, like with potato. I was just surprised today, that's Onion. all. Doubt that. Ooh. Onion thinks you can do it again. That's vaguely assuring. I'm like a bad guy, right? Oh my god. I can't wait to see what it actually says <laughs> about my character at the end, because I have a lot of thoughts. Okay, she's about to take my life. Can I dodge? She lunges from my neck. She missed. She's panting. She's like getting damaged. Try to sweep her legs. She jukes it. Okay. I punch her in the gut. I knock the wind out of her. It's over! Whoa. Whoa. That's my arm? What? What? 
Uh-huh. Okay. Karen quickly stumbles down the hallway, turning left at the end. It's like something on my glasses. It's weird. You're hobbling after her, but the room is pitch black here. The rot of decaying flesh is nauseating. You can hear the small echoes of Karen's footsteps disappearing below, making this room feel enormous. You can't see their eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. The staircase in the center winds downward, spiraling into the abyss. You're getting lightheaded again. Gravity almost gets the best of you a few times as you work your way to the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you reach the bottom. Hmm? The smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. You head east, opening the door. Huh? You feel Karen's presence close by. Whoa, ghost. Whoa, ghost. Whoa, ghost. Hmm? Back together again. Drowned and dissected. The Butcher of Hope has returned. Where is Karen? Lost in the abyss. Her rage blinds her. Ravenous. Completely ravenous. She will never be able to move on. Bound to this cabin by you, she will never escape. Those that die in the cabin are bound to the to different rules. Fleeing west did nothing. Victims will always gravitate to this cabin. Always find a way to you. You wretch. You abomination. You horror. <laughs> you horror. No, I'm just kidding. Turn on the light and savor your inhumanity. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. I know, the horror art in this game is really cool and weird, and I love it. Mariah. Anatoly? Gregor? Karen? Hmm. I'll never forget you. Cooking companions! End of game! Wow! Creepy basement voice. Oh my god. That was cool! Ooh! Vocals by Yub. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. There's a joke ending? <laughs> yeah, the artwork was crazy. I love how creepy the, the creepy faces I thought were really cool. I like how they were kind of like random. Like they didn't happen very frequently. So it was like, oh shit. Like, ah, uh, that was, that was a cool little game. There's a lot here. What a big group of people that worked on this. That's fun though. Cause like, I think this is like an indie game. And so I just like picked it up randomly. And, but like, it was fun. It's a fun little story. It was fun and creepy and weird. And there's definitely like an implication and I don't quite know what it is, which is fun. It makes me want to almost like it feels like you have to like replay it with the stuff in mind and then kind of go and be like oh like what's the ukraine thing why did they leave ukraine and like when um i think this game came out last year it's just weird because ukraine is like has stuff going on now but i think this is from before <laughs> yeah, like the stuff's really subtle and then you're like, what the fuck did I see? And then you're like, oh, it's gone. And like, that's good. I like that a lot of the scary stuff wasn't advertised. Takes place during the... <laughs> Maybe. Hold, hold the more. Yeah. 
That would make sense. It was very cool. This is a cool game, man. Thanks, Steam, for having this game. Oh, <gasps> me! One last scare? No. Dear Dream Studios. <laughs> That's cute. I like that too. Hmm? You hear talking upstairs. Thieves? You grab your flaying knife and silently go upstairs. You'll eat well tonight. The four look completely shocked at the sight of you. We or no, sorry, that's Morat. <clears throat> we. She doesn't look like she has the courage to speak. We've been lost for a few days. Your cabin is the only hut we've seen out here. Can we stay here for a few nights? You clear your throat and ask the questions you've asked thousands of times. Did you come on your own free will, or were you sent? Well, we were technically sent. Anato Anatoly! We came of our own free will. The woman looks confident in her answer. They answered incorrectly. You clear your throat again, coughing profusely. <clears throat> you may stay in my cabin until you're ready to leave. Mm. The group looks terrified of you. As they should be. Wasn't that trail steep? Y yeah. The group finally returns to normal. It's forced, but they attempt to save face. That walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water, it really has everything. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. Lines from the beginning! Whoa! You already know the rest of the story now, right? Wrong. Welcome to Nightmare Mode. If you survive, you will gain some additional insight to the world of Cooking Companions, as well as unlock New Game Plus and a Chompets only event? What? What? Alright, I definitely heard a door open somewhere, which freaked me out. I think it's just cats. This mode is mostly a joke, so don't take it seriously. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompette's Cabin Courses, a Chompette-only event free of humans. For the true Cooking Companions experience, this mode should be played in a pitch black room with headphones! If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry, you'll get the opportunity to do so in New Game Plus. You should really make a manual save right now. Don't hesitate. Okay. I'll save over this one. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, says Dear Dream Studios, and I say you're welcome for playing. From me, your Compass Rose. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. You wake up in the bathroom again. Okay. <laughs> oh god, it's terrible. <laughs> this is my room! Do you see how dark it is? Oh lord. Really quick, though. Actually, I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna exit. <laughs> Back to title screen, because I've been streaming for, like, almost three hours. Okay! <laughs> Weird version. I'm down. I, I did notice there's, like, Russian letters. What is it? What is it called? C Cyrillic? I don't know how to say it. Russian letters. I'm an ignorant person. Um, right here. And I was kind of curious about that, but now that there's like a Ukrainian backstory, that could be part of it. Because I think Ukrainian language also uses the same written language, but I'm not familiar, but... Ugh. I'm really excited about Nightmare Mode. Okay, I thought this game was done. 
And it, in a way it is, we did finish it. But like for real, I might play this next week and just go through the nightmare mode and all this stuff. Right, a cute and quirky game. So much stuff, look at all of our little guys. Oh my God, they have little profiles. With so many cabbage dishes here, how could cabbage not be the leader of the chompettes? Heck, she's even in the logo. Just don't let her tell you the complete history of Halu Haluki. Diameter is eight, <laughs> eight inches, weight 39 ounces. Pro tip, for an easier time, cut the cabbage in half and then cut the halves into quarters. Fun fact, cabbage has been cultivated for more than 6,000 years. Wow. Cabbage is great. Onion. He'll make you cry, but also smile. Probably the MVP of the culinary world. Don't tell cabbage that. Oh my god. Pro tip, you can peel an onion without crying by running, running it under cold water. Fun fact, onion, onions contain sulfur compounds. I love the European folklore story bits. Yeah! This is... This game, I feel like, has so much subtlety in it, which I wasn't expecting to, like, find in this random game I picked up, but there's a lot and I'm really into it. I didn't think I'd like this game as much as I did, but very exciting. Okay, bread. No need to butter him up. He'll listen to concerns and belly aching. Just don't let him get stale. Nobody likes him stale. Size is pretty big and pretty small. <laughs> Pro tip, don't eat too much of it. And fun fact, a combine can harvest enough wheat in nine seconds to make 70 loaves of bread. Wow. Always marry, no exceptions. She's definitely the sweetest of the bunch and will help you out in a jam. Size, 36 inches. Just kidding, that's the plant height. <laughs> Pretty sure, or be sure it's a raspberry before eating it. There are over 200 different known species of raspberries, but only two are grown at a large scale. These are like legitimate facts I'm getting here, hold on. Potato. Something's seriously wrong with potato. He insists you learn the Harris-Benedict equation. Why? Harris-Benedict equation, hold on. What is that? Is that something I know? Total energy, daily energy expenditure. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Pro tip, to peel them easier, use a knife and make a small ring around the center of the potato. Boil the potato for some time, then try peeling it. Every day, over 1 billion people eat at least one potato. Are these like characters? Oh my god. 20 years old! Energetic and always willing to learn, Mariah's can-do attitude is the glue that holds the group together. A lover of animals, her kind heart advocates for leaving them alone. Skill, keeping tensions simmered. Particle physics! Ooh, I love me some physics, girl. Anatoly. Um, Anatoly is rumored to be a worldly scholar, but that's bogus. He only pretends to read books. He never learns simple addition or subtraction, which is probably why he looks up to Mariah so much. Will you let Mariah have a taste or gobble him up for yourself? <laughs> he likes herbology and illiter- or no, his skills are herbology and illiteracy. Like, your skill is to be illiterate. Pretty funny. Gregor, always an optimist. Gregor likes splitting firewood, eating things in one gulp, and helping out friends. Gregor's a rare guy with a heart of gold. Will you take it from him? Optimist can reach high shelves. It's good to have tall friends. Karen, she's a super tall glass of water. <laughs> Karen will chew you up and spit you out. If Gregor thinks the glass is always half full, Karen thinks the glass isn't full enough and needs to be cleaned better and could probably use something stronger than water. She's one tough cookie and a difficult walnut to crack. Maybe you can marinate that away. Skill, Machiavellian nature, and has a knife. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Oh, you get the creepy things. Oh, that's cool too. So you can look at them better. Ooh, one, two, three. Is this like concept work? Oh, that's kind of fun. Look at it. You get all of them. Logo. This is a cute logo. <laughs> Guys should have done it. Oh my god, concept art. Yeah. Mary Kate. It's not their names. Oh, I love this. 
I love how there's like super scary stuff and then like, oh, this, this is something I drew. I love the mix. Okay, well, <laughs> that's that. Uh, if you weren't here last time, we went through the entire story and then unlocked nightmare mode, which I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it seems like there's more to this game. So we're gonna keep going with it and just, just get weird. I think it's jump scary spooky stuff, but uh, all right. It's where we're at. Um, I forgot I saved so many times. So, let's just jump into it. Oh yeah, make a save. <laughs> uh, thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing, says Dear Dream Studios. Oh, almost forgot. Nightmare mode activated. <sighs> I'm nervous about nightmare mode, but it's okay. We're fine. <laughs> You wake up in the bathroom again. There's like secrets and shit too. <gasps> this is my room. Okay, sorry. Also, okay, sorry. Also, though, the thing, that face was, um, <laughs> it's the icon for, it's like the poster child of the horror game subreddit. So like, what is that from? Anyway, that's just, that's what I said, noticed. Do you see how dark it is? It's cold. But I can look at you. Look at me. Are you scared? Yes. Run. Oh, I can't run. You just look at me. I am scared. You wake in a cold sweat. Ghosts. <laughs> oh, your surroundings feel completely different. Mariah's presence is enraged. She's beckoning you to follow her. You get up and leave the bedroom. All right, ghost, let's go. Was that painting always like a storm? I don't actually remember looking at the painting ever. That's my bad. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day outside. What a fitting end to such a horrible nightmare. End of game. You head to the kitchen for some breakfast. Cooking time. Tell me how to cook. Oh, golly. Pasta sauce mistakes happen. This will take ages to clean. You take a few bites of meat. You lost more of your humanity. You stare into the ash pile in the oven. Are they still upset? You head back to the bedroom to take a nap. You're just like, ghosts, calm down. <laughs> oh, I love, I forgot about this character's like confidence. Which one of them is causing this? Yeah, I'll put drink over here. It's like a quick action. I have a drink and a snack, so I want to be able to eat both. <laughs> Mariah? Anatoly? Gregor? K you crawl into the bed and fall asleep. Yeah, no time to think. Day? Hmm? 616? Karen. Wake up, sleepyhead. Karen? Karen isn't here. It sounds like she's whittling something again. Did she escape the basement? Karen? No reply. You head over to investigate. Huh. Another trick by one of those pesky ghosts. Huh. Who's still missing? Karen? Hmm. Someone is tapping on the window. <laughs> Look at his eyeballs! <laughs> Look at his eyeballs! I don't- it's like almost cute! I know it's supposed to be creepy, but it's kind of cute because he's just got like the big old eyes. Anyway. I, I forgot his voice, hold on. <clears throat> what was his name? Anatoly? I think that was his voice? Okay. <laughs> Anatoly question mark? 
I can't get the taste out of my mouth. Are you done, Anatoly? Pasha, get out of here, ghost. Shoo! <laughs> They're getting more bold in their actions. You had to bed to sleep on it. Dude, doesn't even bother me. I don't even care. Uh-oh. Say, 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 say. The sheets are drenched in sweat. Huh? You catch something moving out of the corner of your eye. <gasps> you roll out of bed to see what it is. It's a ghost. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it feels like 3 a.m. Nothing is moving around the bedroom anymore. Just your imagination again. You head to the basement door. Do -do 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 -do. Is Karen still alive? A cold wind blows through the crack in the door. Spooky! You wake in a cold sweat. I'm having lots of nightmares. Maybe that's why it's called nightmare mode. You wake up on the cold bathroom floor. And I have to put my glasses on because I can't read that good. Every time. I'm like, yeah, there's not that much reading. And then I'm like, I'm reading the whole time. All right. <clears throat> you wake up on the floor. The door is locked. Did one of them hide the key in here? Hmm. Where do you want to check first? Garbage can, under the sink, inside the mouse hole, under the tub. I mean, mouse hole seems like a good way to check, but we'll check the garbage can. You check the garbage can underneath the sink. Hmm, it's empty, just like your soul. Check that mouse hole. The mouse hole seems perfectly rounded, like someone used sandpaper on the edges. Did the chompettes do this? I definitely think they did. Get under that bathtub. Mouse pops or mouse po <laughs> mouse poops and dust have gathered underneath the tub. Ugh, gross. This needs to be swept. Yeah. Um, back under the sink. You look in the back of the garbage can. Just a gigantic spider back there. Disgusting. Tub again. There's some scratches on the side of the tub. Hmm. What happened there? Mouse hole. The hole itself is pitch black. Would the flashlight be helpful? Hmm. It might aggravate whatever horror lies in wait. I need to check something. I need to check something. Okay. I just want to make sure my I wasn't muted. <laughs> That's always really embarrassing. Um, okay. Well, I think the tub is giving me the best go ahead. How did you miss this? You notice a note underneath the bathtub. Let's say 19... 1794. Whoa, okay. I, I was like, that's a really old date. On Star Wars Day of 1794. This notice shall serve as a summons to the Zakopane? Zakopane? Courthouse. Zakopane Courthouse. You are being accused of the following crimes. 1. Public disturbance. 2. Foul language and demeanor. Three, the refusal to testify at previous court cases. And four, the refusal to agree to a search warrant of property. It's fair. Your hearing is scheduled for October 20th. Failure to attend will result in your immediate arrest and penalties up to hanging. Sincerely, Judge Con Constan Leos. It's not how you say that, but... uh. We're sticking with it, baby. Um, what was I gonna point out? Yes. So I'm gonna be my hearing is scheduled for like five months later, but this is in 1794. I guess I didn't so like I know nowadays if I got summoned to court, I might get the letter like months and months in advance, and then you know, but I guess I figured in 1794 there wasn't as much long term due process happening and i would expect to get it like the a month in advance i don't know that's just that's that's what i'm tripped up on apparently anyway that's under the fucking bathtub <laughs> you take the court summons letter with you that was just a random thing okay well uh mouse hole hmm stick your arm in the mouse hole yes 
You slowly put your entire arm in the mouse hole and feel around. Yeah, good. Ugh. You feel a chilly presence of something behind you. <laughs> hmm? The key is pushed into your hand. You pull your arm out, lifting up the toilet seat to take a celebratory bathroom break. Your hands are shaking uncontrollably from the whisper. <gasps> the key has fallen into the toilet. No. Reach in the filthy toilet to get the key? I mean, before I take a poop, yeah. This is the only way to get out of the bathroom. You plunge your hand into the toilet, grasping blindly for the key. You must have gone down the pipe! <laughs> Raspberry! Oh, wow! Raspberry! You really put your hand in a filthy, backed-up toilet, huh? This seems to be a new love for you, haha. <laughs> Are you finally going to wash your hands now? <laughs> the sink isn't working. Oh, wow! Will the bacteria be the thing that does you in? Such a pathetic end for such a terrible life. Haha. <laughs> the key wasn't even for the bathroom door. That was the key to the Chompette's treasure box, idiot. You really should have stepped in. You've really stepped in it this time. Haha. <laughs> Cabbage told me I had to rescue you from this. I wanted to let you starve to death in here, but she insisted. Here you go. Raspberry unlocked the bathroom door. This is the last favor you'll get from me. Goodbye, wretch. <laughs> Bye, bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. She's just like, I hate you, but I, you know, I have a job. She's, she's good. She's great. Ah, <sighs> you let out a deep breath and exit the bathroom. I, I even like lost their treasure key too. Like, what am I doing? It's time to end this. You open the door and ready for what's next. Hmm, it's just a staircase. Nothing to be scared of. You begin your descent. Going down the stairs. Um, 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 um. Hmm? The spirits aren't active right now. You continue downward. <laughs> the walls. Down here, they're dirt and soot. It's nothing. You keep moving downward. The air pressure down here feels greater. You're getting closer to Karen with each step. Huh? Something is approaching. Ghosts? Probably. Or chompets. Either or. A false alarm. Are the spirits below going to trap on you? Nope, oh, that's not what it says. <laughs> oh no! Are the spirits below going to spring a trap on you? Which is a sentence that makes sense. You continue downwards. I like how I'm just like, man, where are those pesky ghosts? They're not doing anything. They're gonna trap me, huh? I'll just keep going. <laughs> I love it. You hear something in the distance. Ooh, like a scream, or like it's, it sounds like a baby cry almost. Where it's like a wee. Don't jump scare me though, for real. Like, what? <laughs> Esto tal perdido aquí? Eh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, hold on. Oh, there's a face. Oh my god, can you see it on the stream? You can see it on the stream. There's like in the distance, in the darkness. Oh! I don't know what that means though. That's. It's like Portuguese, isn't it? Ugh. Or it's like good Spanish and I my Spanish is bad. But it seems almost like Portuguese. Okay, anyway. Estás con frío? Yeah, see, that's not that's not Spanish. It would be co that's, I don't think that's Spanish. Anyway, you shake your head. Oh, vamos conversar la embaj embajio, okay? 
Pero tengo otros que quiero mostrar a vos. Un delesnado para de susurrar sobre una jaula de pasarinho. Vejo vos en opinar. Not the final voice. This is something about passing. I should have tried to translate it. I, I didn't even. I was just, the last line, I was like, oh, this isn't the final voice. <laughs> anyway, you continue your breath and hold on. Continue. We, go. we keep going. We're down. I'm down with Portuguese ghosts. Or maybe another language that's very similar to Spanish and Portuguese that I'm unfamiliar with. Something is approaching. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, fuck you, jump scares. <laughs> it was so like, what's that? This game is purely fictitious. It cannot harm you in any way, shape, or form. What? <laughs> when you regain consciousness, you are further down the staircase. You awake with a note next to your head. It's difficult to read, but you can make out a sentence. Don't get up before Saturday. <laughs> Before Saturday? What day is it? You take the Saturday note with you. What? <laughs> what? Hey? Okay. Anyway. The sound of rain has completely stopped down here. Your eyes are strained down here. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under miles of ocean. You continue downwards. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. This basement is crazy deep. If we're feeling air pressure changes, <laughs> uh, something doesn't feel right. You navigate the basement blindly until you reach the room with four directions. I don't know what that means. You can barely make out the outlines of the door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? Boop, 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 boop. Never ask me a question like this, cause I'm a little baby about that. West coast is best coast? I don't know. Your eyes struggle to see down this hallway. You strain your eyes to make the- make out an outline of a door. Whoa, what is this art? <laughs> you slowly open it. <laughs> wow, what is that? Cool! <laughs> Like a dog? <laughs> you wake in a cold sweat. You're lying in the middle of the four directions. Which way do you want to go? Oh, noise. Okay. Um, east coast is least coast, so... <laughs> Your hands run across a large door. Maybe now isn't the time for this. You walk back to the basement steps, trying to remember why you came this far. Found you! Oh, Karen... Let's end this. Oh my god. Oh, just straight. We don't have to fight. Woo. Look at my crazy arm. I definitely look like a hermit. And she is a wraith. Lots of stabbing is happening here. Karen escapes down the hallway, leaving a trail of blood behind her. You follow her to the room in the east. There she is, like, wraith form. Turn on the light. Reap what you have sown. Mariah. Anatoly. Gregor. Karen. I'll never forget you. Best summer ever. Cooking companions. Was that the whole nightmare mode? That was cute. Was there lyrics before? Everything is totally great, but please do refrain from going in the basement. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I want to sing this at a karaoke somewhere. Don't trust that onion, no, no. Cooking time is so much fun, and nothing 
bad could happen everything is totally great but please do refrain from going in the, the basement. basement this is a good song Companions. Oh shoot, that was great. If not just for the song, that was fun. I liked the nightmare mode. <laughs>